hello welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to do the same thing that i did in the last video which is putting my cards together i have already everything uh, cut out um stick tape to it foam everything so i just have to put them together um i chose 10 cards uh, to do in this video uh, so it's i hope uh, a half hour um but um yeah i hope you will enjoy the video maybe you you can uh, use it as inspiration um you can use um the layout if you want so that's why i put it on here on youtube so um yeah so let's start so i have seen 10 cards and um I already put everything together. Some are really simple, like this one. So I cut uh, a piece out, and uh, no, I I cut it out, and uh, this was the leftover, and uh, I use it to make another card. And this was something left from a um, paper pad from Christmas. Let me let's see that I stick it in the middle and not check 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 yes so um so this was something left from uh, a paper pad um not left but um no I'm gonna stick it this thing first um but um, yeah. There were a couple of sheets with some uh, writing and tags and all of those. So yeah, I used it to make some cards. So now I just have to check that I put it in the middle. Mm, I think this is the middle. And this will go on there in the middle as well. And I think that makes a really beautiful, simple card, right? Look at that. Simple, but lovely, I think. So that's card number first. They will not all be so, so this, this is what I mean. These are the cutoffs of the card. It was like that. And uh, I don't know if you remember, but in the previous video, I made some cards with the trees. And uh, yeah, I had some leftovers and uh, I used it on these cards. So yeah, nothing goes to waste. So um, my initial thoughts was to put one uh, on top. I'm going to do it for uh, otherwise. Uh, I'm going to stick this thing first uh, because I wanted to do the edge of the top to the. I'm going to show you in a minute what I mean. I'm going to stick this one first. And I know it's not a lot of white in this, so. Uh, no, 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 no. Go off, go off. It's not in the middle. Yeah, and just I just ripped my paper. Nice. Yeah, that's the thing with the paper white. Once you stick it on, you should leave it on. But yeah, it's not in the middle. And I thought I did cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this. It's not still in the middle, but so I had one like this. So I want this to be at the same level and this on the same level. So that was my thought. Mm. So I should check that it's like this. So normally I can put it like this down. And then the other one. We 
you can use this one at both ways horizontal and vertical like you can use it like this you put your trees like that and it makes also a beautiful card but i wanted to use it like this so and yeah it's not yeah it's a little bit higher but it's okay just have to make sure that it's in the middle of boats so i'm doing a little bit higher then a little bit more to there i think this is okay and i might have to put another image on there because yeah this is too not boring but um, I want another image on there. Maybe a 3D uh, picture. That would maybe be nice. So, the next one. Yeah. So, as you can see, maybe you haven't checked it. But in the previous video, this was a cutoff of one of the papers. And I used it on this card. So let me see what I wanted to do. So I had it like this. I think. So what I did for my stamps. Um, as you, If you watched the previous video. With my card um, making. Um, I stamped Merry Christmas or what two cards. And uh, with the leftover ink. I stamped it on a uh, white paper. And uh, I think it's lovely. It's not bright as the other one, but um, I actually like it. So I wanted to use it. If I didn't like it, that's okay. I just throw it away. But um, yeah, at least I wanted to try. So let me see to put it in the middle. Like so. So you have a little bit of the the border showing because it was a lot bigger and uh, yeah I trimmed it a lot smaller so I could see the pattern underneath so let me I, I know it's not on camera I imagine but I need to see what I am doing yeah so like so and this one is on foam so what i am going to do this one is going to be as the previous uh, the first one this is going to be in the middle of the card i could do a square card but um i don't i don't have many square cards so yeah i could do a square but I prefer a long card like this. So, and this is going to be in the middle. Simple. Right? Just eyeballing it. And this is my card. Lovely. I think I it's it's lovely I think so yeah this has a little bit more pieces <laughs> as you can see uh, this was a tag that was in the paper pad uh, I cut off the tag yeah and I can use it as a uh, like focal image is that the name so the white um, is with the foam and the other ones are just flat i wanted to have a little bit more dimension excuse me dimension on my card since this one is a pattern with a directional you will have to make sure that it goes the right way so let me see i think this one was just in like this so i did cut uh, like so that uh, it was the same height as the pattern paper 
but a little bit bigger at the both sides and I am going to show you why in a minute not in a minute but in a second a minute would be long huh? so again making sure it's the, it's in the middle like so so then we have the background this one is also going to be in the middle but just make sure that it's on the right side <laughs> going to do it like this I think it's easier like so then this is going to be like this so it you have a little bit of pattern at both sides and this is just going to go on top with no foam this one is flat since this one already has dimensions um, it would be too high I think it would be nice, but um, it would be too big. So I'm following the line. Then we go to the other side. Just make sure that your pattern is at the right side. like so and then put the focal image on there you can put it uh, anywhere you want but i want it in the middle if i don't make it fall and i have a few cards like this so i didn't put i could put some foam actually on the back um on this because um, it's pretty high so let's see if I have my tape I do have my tape but if do I have a scissor that's my other question normally I had one because I just used it uh, let me see quick where are my scissors I just used it where is it? And this one I cannot. Uh, I really need my scissors for that. So, yeah. Where are they? Wait. Just wait a second. I am going to take some other scissors. Luckily, I have scissors everywhere. So, so, yeah. I'm gonna cut off a little small thing. And I am going to put it on the middle of the image. And like that, it's not going to... That's going to be better. And then we have your card. Look how gorgeous that is. And that's just with one sheet. I think it's beautiful. Simple, beautiful. Yeah, this takes a little bit more time to assemble, but um, I think it makes it a beautiful card. So let's put the background because I wanted to do something to break the pattern a bit because they had uh, these are with foils, as you can see, they are full uh, with, with foil and um, just in one. Uh, for one big background it was too much as you can see and just with the little bit of white in between it breaks the the pattern a bit i am i have another another one that with much bigger um with uh, much much bigger images and uh just with a little bit of white in between it makes a huge difference at least in my opinion. Some people might have another opinion, but um, 
that's just how I see it. By the way, all of the cards that I am making are for sale. So, so this is going to be like that. And I'm going to put some foam on the back. Luckily, I did have the foam not far from me. So I'm going to put this one first. And I didn't want to have it flat on there, so that's why I used some foam, but you could uh, easily do it flat. I think even flat would be really beautiful. This one has no direction, so I don't even I don't even pay attention to but I still want it. Great. that's so then we do the focal image so just check how it opens this was was this one was also a um, let me see if it put it so this was uh, also a um, tag so that's the next card next one is the same one but it's with a lovely bow background for you see what i mean it's just too um it's just too much i love foil uh on the uh, paper pads uh, not paper but uh, paper pads but paper uh, i love it but sometimes it's just too much and uh, yeah in at first i really didn't have any inspiration but uh, then just by accident actually um i found uh i had this in mind so yeah going to check how much of a border I have okay All right as straight as I can okay I need a little bit of foam Okay, then we do the stripes. If you have any more questions, please put them down below and I will answer them. It all... Um, I will answer all of your questions. If I have the answer, of course. But um, yeah, okay, that's not straight. Luckily, paper is really forgiving. Okay, it's still not straight, but yeah, I will have to leave it because otherwise I am going to rip my paper. So yeah, that's not uh, that's not what I want. So. That's one strip. Now the other side. So let's try it again. That's better, much better. Okay, then let's put this on the other side. You can change it in whatever you want. You can do a long one, just one, no image. 
yeah, the possibilities are endless when you have something in mind. Yeah. And like this, I could use the paper pad or, um, entirely. So I am a really happy woman. Okay, that's the next one. So the next one is the same, I think. And then we have some other ones, I think. So that's the last one with the strips. All right, let's put the background first. Please let me know what your favorite one was. Uh, this one, since it has a, um, it has a directional, but since it's not like uh, something like a tree or something, I am going to put, normally it goes like this, but since it's not really, I'm going to put it like that, both sides. So yeah, it's just gonna be something interesting. Yeah, this takes a lot of more time. I'm already at 21 minutes. So yeah. Luckily I am always I just do tin and not 20 like in the previous video. Because that would take much longer than um I think um an hour. But I think um a half hour is okay for a video, I think. I don't know. Well, some people like long videos and other ones like long videos like me. Damn, it all depends on the people that are watching. All right. So, put it on the other side, like this. That's one. Uh, other side like this then we have that and we need a little foam luckily the foam goes quick <laughs> like this and then We put it in the middle, at the right side. Just, just open it f to be sure. Because one stuck, it stick. So let's see if this is the middle. I think it, yeah. That's the next one. All right. So we have three more cards to do. So I think these are a little bit different. So, we don't have any white, so these are the pieces. Uh, so I'm going to stuck. So this was, was, this was also from the paper pad, which I still need to use the um, paper. But uh, yeah, one thing at a time. So then we have those. And you can do it like uh, one on top and one on the bottom, but uh, I think this one, I can't remember what I did for this one. Uh, I think it was just in the middle. Yeah, it, it was just in the middle. So let's see, but because it's, it does have to be a little bit in the middle to be beautiful. Not to be beautiful, but It is beautiful. 
uh, that's one of the paper that I am talking about. It's way too big to use as a background. So yeah, I cut it a little bit down and I am doing something different with it. So let's see if it's in the middle. So uh, on this one, I put some foam because I wanted to have it a little bit higher. So this one is going to like this. Just, yeah, just like this. Simple card, but lovely. So next one is also a really simple one. So I put foam on the white one. Maybe I should have mentioned that from the beginning. But you can use foam or no foam. So that's basically uh, whatever you want. So this was also from a paper pack. You see what I mean? It's way too big to use as one big background. Like for uh, like the other cards. So yeah, we are breaking it a little bit down to put something on there. All right, let's put it in the middle. I think it was to use it horizontal. So let's see. Mm, no, it's a little bit higher. Yeah, that's, I think, almost the middle. Yeah, I think it's the middle. And then we break it to put this thing on. And I think it makes a lovely part like this. You see how it breaks down? Um, it's not so... I don't know how to call it, but um, it might just be me that see uh, a difference, but um, okay, so this one is a little bit bigger. But that was intentionally, so that was also from the other paper pad, the really small paper pad. Okay, so uh, I also put some foam on this one. So um, I think I will use it like this to have something different. Yeah, we are almost at a half hour, but it's my last card, so. And I am going to show you all the cards um, at the right side this time. So let's see. Where is the middle? I think it's something like this. Yeah. I am, uh, wait a minute, this one has to go like that. Uh, maybe I should measure, but um, yeah. I think that's, the, that's right. So this one is with a pattern that has a direction. So make sure that it's in the right direction. So it goes like this. So this goes in the middle. And I am going to put another uh, picture on there, but I am not sure yet what. So we did 10 cards now. So I'm going to show you them again, but at the right side. So that was last one.
maybe it gives you an idea to do with uh, a paper pad that you don't know what to do with especially with big uh, paper pad like this like this cannot speak i think it's very uh cute like this it's still one the same pattern but with a little bit of white in between it just breaks the pattern so So here is also one that still needs an image. I am not going to use the round because um, then you will not see the beautiful green on, on there. So I am going to use something smaller and that's the last, the first one that we did and the last one for the video. So yeah, uh, it came from this one also the same measurements as the last one uh the previous one so yeah uh this one came uh with 24 but um i think there were uh, a couple of missing so i think it was 19 or 20 but i have more um cards with the same pattern but um yeah i still need uh, something to put on there but yeah, and you get two sheets of one design. So one with a foil and one with no foil. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please put a comment down below if you have any questions. And um, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.